Greetings and welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the game again. And due to the fact that this year, villains. We're going to be doing mostly villains. We're going to be doing characters that, you know, are some of the most vile, despicable, and, uh, and of course, underrated for more history of them. I appreciate it. And to start out with, the first five of the fir of this of number fifty one to number one hundred, we have the spy some Spider Man villains, and it's a, it's it's you know new movie just came out. Figured, you know what? Let's talk about a few of them. So this one isn't. I want to start it off pretty easy. You go into it. We have the Vulture. Now I get it. He just he recently had a movie in twenty seventeen. With, uh, with, uh, Michael Keaton. But he's still underappreciated by Marvel. Okay, he got a movie. He sometimes appears in cartoons. But he's not really used as much as, say, Doc Ock or Green Goblin. Um, because, you know, they're iconic. Vulture is not as iconic. But... Let's start out from, he, he started out in Amazing Spider-Man number two on May 1963. So, yeah, number two. I actually have his second major appearance. Number, I don't actually remember. But, yeah, I do have an older comic that um family member gave me. I can't remember which one. Um, years ago. <clears throat> a bunch of them, and it just so happens that I had the second appearance of the Vulture in the lungs that. Created by Stan Lee and Steve Ditko, um, he's been part of the Sinister Six and Savage Six. He's also had a notable alias as the Falcon. What? The fuck? Adrian Toomes, the Vulture, was the Falcon at one point. That's messed up. That doesn't, that, that doesn't compute with me. Vulture's a bad guy. Sandman and Venom have become good guys in recent years. Vulture and the Falcon. Does that sound right to you, Leo? Huh? The Vulture, Adrian Toomes from Spider-Man, was the Falcon at one point. Huh. I'm a little weirded out now. Abilities, genius, electrical engineer, those wings of his, he made those. Electromagnetic, tailored body, harness, grants, flight, enhanced physical attributes. Basically, he can fly and then kick your ass when you're going in the air. Um, let's see. He's supposed to, Michael Keaton's version of the character is supposed to pop up in Morbius. And then, oh, some other, okay, we have some other characters that are vultures. Um, because I didn't even know that. But we're not going to look into those. We'll look at those guys at another day. But some notable versions. Okay, one of the versions actually pops up in as Vulture Man in the 1960s Spider-Man anime series. Um, 1981 series, Adrian Toomes comes back. 90s had um, uh, two versions, an old man and a young man. You'd have to watch the series. A, ro a heroic half bestial version in the Counter Earth one in Spider Man Unlimited. Spectacular Spider Man, very first one. Played by Robert England. Yeah, Freddy Krueger was in a Spider Man series. Very cool. Um, played by Tom Kenny in the Ultimate Spider-Man series. Um, 2010 Spider-Man series. Um, and a Vulture-esque group called the Wake Riders. Riders popped up. Popped up in a numerous video games. He does pop up every now and again. But, yeah, he's not really used much in the comics or as or he's not as recognizable as a spider-man as spider-man 
for the first man, Rose Gallery, and Venom and Carnage, Doc Ock, Green Goblin. You know, if you're not an octopus, a goblin, or a symbiote, you're not really well known. So, regardless of if you get a movie or not. Because that's just how it goes in Hollywood. But I'll be looking at five of them, so. Not a sense of six, but eight. I could probably talk about two of them. Two different ones. I don't know. That wouldn't be really work for me. That wouldn't really work for me. So we're just going to do it like this. But. Vulture was always one of my favorites growing up. I actually have a Vulture pop. Right there. Beside my gingerbread status and lizard. Um. So it's kind of cool. Um. And funny enough that's the original version of the character. Vulture is usually depicted as an older man. With a balding head. Or well, actually bald head. Dude actually looks like a vulture in the face. With a hooked nose and everything. I'm sorry guys, I need some drink. My throat's really dry. Um uh green suit with like black stripes around that I'm not sure how that works. Big wings, you know, you can spread out, you know. Or go like this, you know. With them. And he's a uh, gotten upgrades over the years different versions of them but he's always had like a little he's always looked like a vulture which is kind of weird design choice but you know, I, you know I'm not mixed about that vulture has always been one of my favorites in fact a lot of spider-man villains have been don't get me wrong I love Green Goblin I love the symbiote I like Doc Ock but Electro and Rhino, Vulture, these guys were the ones I grew up with a lot of times. Um, because they were just so unique and different. And not many people talked about them until movies started coming out with these characters. Doc Ock was like the first one. But, no, we're not talking about him right now. We won't be talking about him this soon. But yeah, guys, uh, Vulture, I figured it would be a kind of ease into it. He's the only one for movies. The only one for movies. I think I, the next one might be. I don't know. I might do that. I might. I might have an idea for number 52. But the next three, as far as I know, have not been in any movies yet. Maybe. I don't know. Um. You'll just have to wait and see. Vulture is a flyer. But, not really a good, you know, strength-wise compared to Spider-Man. His main strength is getting up in the air. You take out his wing, just one of them, and he can't steer. You take out his harness in the back, he's done. He can fly, but if Spider-Man manages to get him good in the back, well, that bird's grounded. Well, you know what they say, a bird in the hand is worth two in, two in jail. So, it doesn't take much to take out a vulture. He's usually a petty thief. Is that not weird? You think, I think a guy with a bird harness would be a little bit more than, than a common, common thief. Like, I'm not saying this heist is exceptional. Dude is, a, dude is flying in from windows. Oh, um, I think he works worked for Osborne at one point and they got fired and that's why he went rogue in a couple of storylines so what are your problems? I'll show you after you finish but yeah Vulture is just a starting point as I stated earlier this, this month all this year this is a year of villains the rogues the, the, the evil warmongers the henchman. You can think of a bad guy. Or maybe a game where you play the bad guy. He'll pop up every now and again. And uh, hopefully we'll get this one's uh, uh, Bill and Virginity popped. Because let's face it. I'm okay playing the bi the villain in, a vil in that. He is not. Leo is not. <laughs> Despite how I may act when we play. He doesn't like being the villain. 
he, he, if there's an option to play a hero, he's gonna play the hero. But when he gets in the Lego games, have you played the villain characters in those in Lego Batman Two? Yeah, Superman's Not overpowered, long. but who doesn't want to play as Mister Freeze or Brainiac? I mean, I will say with the Lego Harry Potter, I was running around playing as Lucius, much like Adam. The Lucius Malfoy. He was the first wizard with the dark magic that I got. Then I started using Tom Riddle when I got him. That's better. That's a better pick. Well, no, I got Lucius, and then I had to use him to get Grip Hook, so I could get Tom Riddle. Oh, I got you. And then once I got Tom Riddle, he was my uh, main pick for the dark magic user in the levels. Yeah, we're going to be looking at a lot of different villains. We're going to be looking at some villains from video games that are underappreciated at some point. Yeah, all the, the next 50 characters are going to be villain characters. Starting with, of course... Adrian Toons, a.k.a. The Vulture. With that being said, I'm Akanis Lupus. This has been the Gamers Den. Hopefully you like, share, subscribe. Ring the bell for notifications. Go in the comment section. Do you like The Vulture? Did you, do you like Michael Keaton as the character? Let me know. Start a dialogue. We want it up. Of course, you've all been awesome. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.